peak scale. Uh, so this was developed really over 25 years, and what's different about this questionnaire from, mo from the, the hack or the SF36 of Promise 29, all of which could really be used to calculate RAPID3 and probably could predict mortality as well as the MD hack, although I don't know of any studies uh, with uh, the other instruments other than the hack. Um, but also adding in these psychosocial issues, but perhaps the mo biggest difference is here that the, um, sorry, the, the medical items which uh, are seen here for painful joint count, symptom checklist, and medical history information, which gave us rapid three. And I'm gonna spend uh, the remainder of the talk telling you about some new stuff. Uh, it's not all history, but it, it's part of ongoing history, I hope, because I think it can help you and help rheumatology and most importantly, help patients uh, in clinical care. So this is rapid three. Uh, I'd like to think this is kind of old hat in rheumatology. The literature says that it's relatively widely used now. A lot of people only use RAPID-3, and I think that's an error. We have never written about RAPID-3 without the rest of the MD hack. We have published extensively the correlations with DOS-28 and CDI. You essentially get the same information. Uh, and perhaps more helpful is the fact that these are data from Dr. Casterhone and uh, from Dr. Bergman's office, again, new patients, see a 30% improvement here in uh, RA, SLE, spondyloarthropathies, and gout, and only 15% in OA. And some of you may have seen, we recently published that OA